they went to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, Sit here while I pray. He took with him Peter and James and John, and began to be distressed and agitated, and said to them, I am deeply grieved, even to death. Remain here and stay awake. And going a little farther, Jesus threw himself on the ground and prayed that, if it were possible, the hour might pass from him. He said, Abba, Father, for you all things are possible. Remove this cup from me. Yet, not what I want, but what you want. He came and found his disciples sleeping, and he said to Peter, Simon, are you asleep? Could you not keep awake one hour? Keep awake and pray that you may not come into the time of trial. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. And again he went away and prayed, saying the same words. And once more he came and found them sleeping, for their eyes were very heavy, and they did not know what to say to him. He came a third time and said to them, Are you still sleeping and taking your rest? Enough! The hour has come. The Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Get up, let us be going. See, my betrayer is at hand. Immediately, while he was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived. And with him there was a crowd with swords and clubs from the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders. Now the betrayer had given them a sign, saying, The one I will kiss is the man. Arrest him and lead him away under guard. So when Jesus came, Judas went up to him and said, Rabbi, and kissed him. Then they laid hands on him and arrested him. But one of those who stood nearby drew his sword and struck the slave of the high priest, cutting off his ear. Then Jesus said to him, Have you come with swords and clubs to arrest me, as though I were a bandit? Day after day I was with you, teaching in the temple, and you did not arrest me. But let the scriptures be fulfilled. All of them deserted him and fled. and the whole council were looking for testimony against Jesus to put him to death. But they found none, for many gave false testimony against him, and their testimony did not agree. Some stood up and gave false testimony against him, saying, We heard him say, I will destroy this temple that is made with hands, and in three days I will build another not made with hands. But even on this point, their testimony did not agree. Then the high priest stood up before them and asked Jesus, Have you no answer? What is it that they testify against you? But he was silent and did not answer. Again the high priest asked him, Are you the Messiah, the Son of the Blessed One? Jesus said, I am. And you will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of power and coming with the clouds of heaven. Then the high priest tore his clothes and said, why do we still need witnesses? You have heard his blasphemy. What is your decision? All of them condemned him as deserving death. Some began to spit on him, to blindfold him, and to strike him, saying to him, Prophesy! The guards also took him over and beat him. A 
As soon as it was morning, the chief priests held a consultation with the elders and scribes and the whole council. They bound Jesus, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate. Pilate asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? He answered him, You say so. Then the chief priests accused him of many things. Pilate asked him again, Have you no answer? See how many charges they bring against you. But Jesus made no further reply, so that Pilate was amazed. What wondrous love is this that caused the Lord of bliss to bear the dreadful curse for my soul, for my soul? committed murder during the insurrection. So the crowd came and began to ask Pilate to do for them according to his custom. Then he answered them, Do you want me to release for you the king of the Jews? For he realized it was out of jealousy that they had been given that the chief priest had handed him over. But the chief priest stirred up the crowd to have him release Barabbas for them instead. Pilate spoke to them, Then what do you wish me to do with the man that you call the king of the Jews? Pilate asked him, Why? What evil has he done? Crucify him! Crucify him! So Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, released Barabbas. And after flogging Jesus, he handed him over to be crucified. head with a reed, spat on him, and knelt down in homage to him. After mocking him, they stripped him of the purple cloak and put his own clothes on him. Then they led him out to crucify him. They compelled a passerby who was coming in from the country to carry his cross. It was Simon of Cyrene. Then they brought Jesus to the place called Golgotha, which means the place of the skull. They offered him wine mixed with myrrh, but he did not take it. Then they crucified him, and divided his garments among them, casting lots to decide which each should take. in the morning when they crucified him. The inscription of the charge against him read, The King of the Jews. And with him they crucified two bandits, one on his right and one on his left. Those who passed by derided him, shaking their heads and saying, Ha! You who would destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself and come down from the cross. In the same way the chief priests, along with the scribes, were also mocking him among themselves and saying, he saved others. He cannot save himself. 
Let the Messiah, the King of Israel, come down from the cross now, so that we may see and believe. Those who were crucified with him also taunted him. came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. At three o'clock, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, which means, my God, my God, why has you forsaken me? When some of the bystanders heard it, they said, listen, he's calling out to Elijah. And someone ran and filled a sponge with sour wine, put it on a stick, and gave it to him to drink, saying, Wait, let us see whether Elijah will come and take him down. And Jesus gave a loud cry and breathed his last. And the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. Now when the centurion who stood facing him saw that in this way he had breathed his last, he said, Truly, this man was God's son. looking on from a distance. Among them were Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James and of Joseph and Salome. They used to follow him and provided for him when he was in Galilee. And there were many other women who had come up with him to Jerusalem. When evening had come, since it was the day of preparation, that is the day before the Sabbath, Joseph of Arimathea, a respected member of the council, who was also himself waiting expectantly for the kingdom of God to come, went boldly to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate wondered if he were already dead, and some of the centurion. He asked him whether he had been dead for some time. And when he learned from the centurion that in fact he was dead, he granted the body to Joseph. Then Joseph brought, bought a linen cloth, and taking down the body, wrapped it in the linen cloth, and laid it in a tomb that had been hewn out of the rock. He then rolled a stone against the door of the tomb. Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of Joseph, saw where the body was laid. 